the comfort food maven is back and today we are making peanut butter cookies featuring big dogs desserts my spousal unit is going to give me an able assist on this recipe he makes the best peanut butter cookies so why not have him show you how we do it we need peanut butter eggs shortening baking soda baking flour sugar and vanilla extract and molasses so if you're ready you got your ingredients let's bake Look at this stunning man in my kitchen. It's Mr. Big Dog. He likes to cook. At, specifically, he can cook, but he's a better baker than I, I am. I like to cook. The comfort food maven who doesn't know how to really bake, so we're gonna leave it to the Big Dog. But this man right here, Mr. Big Dog, is gonna make us some peanut butter cookies, as promised. Looks like he's sifting baking soda into his hand now. How much was that? About a teaspoon? Yep. We always wait for the ancestors to tell us when. People say baking is supposed to be specific measurements. Why aren't you being specific, sir? Because before I even do anything, I want to taste it again to make sure that it's enough ingredients. Oh, yeah. And then when you're cooking, you want to have a certain feel when you're filling your stuff. Like when you bake cookies, stuff isn't supposed to stick to your fingers. If it sticks to your finger, that means you kind of not having the right measurements of something, so. All right, stir it up. You got to shake it up now. You know, I was gonna add a song. So, so that's two cups of flour. And then why are we using crunchy peanut butter, not smooth? Doesn't matter. Everyone likes a little nuts, don't you, dear? I was just waiting on when this video was gonna turn PG-13. Okay, so how much peanut butter is this? It looks like you scooped out about five tablespoons. I'm trying to do about a cup. Oh. Is that about a cup? Uh, we're getting there. You know what would have been nice to use? The measuring cup. We Not sour. like the peanut butter's gonna That's true. stick though, right? Well, y'all already know. I keep telling y'all, we wait for the ancestors to tell us when, even if we're baking. But anyway. Azucar, it's sugar time, y'all. Sugar. sugar. One cup. I felt like you cheated us. You didn't fill that cup to the top. We want sweet cookies. <laughs> I think my sugar container is lumpy. Oh, oh, oh. Get in the cup, get in the cup, get in the cup, big dog. So far, we're getting there, y'all, with the peanut butter cookies. We got the flour, the sugar, baking soda, and some crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, we got it from Aldi. Sue us. <laughs> so then you have the. Ooh, let me see that. Let me vanilla. See that. Vanilla flavor. Vanilla flavor going in. Yummy! Blam. Blam, okay. You use this. Grandma's molasses, original. That makes stuff sauce when you cook it like that, yeah. Uh oh. It makes it sauce. Just a dab to do you. Crisco. Just like the equivalent of a bar of butter. You don't need no more than that. Because peanut butter got all in it already anyway. Oh. Three and two eggs. Is that a shell? <laughs> I rescued the shell, y'all. So these are clean hands handling the dog on dough. Is that what we're gonna call this? The dough at this stage, right? Batter. Batter, dough, whatever. It was for bread, right? Whatever. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. The whole cans are turning the batter. So you see how everything is sticking? That means it's not enough flour, it's not enough sugar. Adjustments are being made on the fly, y'all. Pardon. Oh, we might need a, a, a light source. There we go. Beautiful. 
Oh, I see it it's smoothing. It's not sticking to my I hands I see it smoothing. Oh, okay. I'm just saying what we're looking for. Yes, I'm gonna try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that might have been the batch before you added more sugar because it was a little undersweetened. Well, sometimes it just tastes undersweetened. What are we thinking now? Well, you taste. I gotta try it now. Need more sugar? No. No. When you rolling out the dough, just make sure you roll it slow. Okay, so if you are, yeah, if, if you if you rock with our generation, you know the rest of that song and where where it comes from. Drop down in the comments and tell me where this song is from. So if you don't know where that's from, it's from a TV show called Perfect Strangers. It's almost like a giant sweet potato. All right, he's over there washing a the bowl. We'll come back in a minute. You don't gotta let it sit or anything. Normally, you put flour on the counter before you do it, but since it's marble, just roll it out. Yeah. See how it's not sticking? Oh, look at that. That's a neat trick, yo. Now it looks like the Subway dough before it goes in the oven. Cookie sheet, which is well loved. We were gonna get parchment paper, but we forgot. So there's that. All oh, right. Man. Prep your surface. Oh, man. Prep your surface like this. He tried to lie on me and say, I don't clean as I go. Everybody knows the number one rule of cooking. Look to clean as you go. So I cut them to about an inch. Math is not mathing over here, y'all. Say again, how much does this yield? Two dozen in the old school pattern like your mama used to do. Yeah, my mama used to do. The fork the method. Fork. Exactly. You mount them down as well as doing designs. The cookies should breathe and rise. You didn't use any baking powder, why not? Because you use baking salt, it doesn't matter? Exactly. It doesn't, so it doesn't matter. It depends on what kind of cookies. If you're trying to do soft, chewy cookies, you use baking powder. I mean, you're using baking soda. If you're trying to do thin cookies, hard cookies, you use baking powder. What's the oven on? Nothing, you just <laughs> You gotta be doing all this between the the oven for bro. So I would say you preheat the oven to 360 degrees, madam. And then eat a little batter. The this is for the algorithm. A special shout out to my spousal unit for making this video possible. Some notes on the recipe, you could substitute brown sugar for white or do a half a cup of white and a half a cup of brown. Bake until the edges are firm and the tops crack a little bit. Let the cookies cool. Serve it up, of course, with an ice cold cup of milk. Bone apple to the tea. I'm your comfort food maven. Don't forget to like this video, share it, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.